Okay everybody here, Coach Jorge with daughter Carly. In this lesson we're going to be answering how do you handle cheaters? This is a great question and we, we need to recognize that our sport is unique in that the umpire, the referee that is going to conduct our match is actually the very guy I'm trying to, to beat. So we have a unique situation in tennis like that. So um, that could, could but doesn't always lead to problems but sometimes it does. So as a, as a coach who's done this for more than 30 years I see my share of people feel like they got cheated from women's teams to men's teams to juniors in tournaments to rec leagues to in-house leagues is, is fairly rampant problems. I've seen the whole spectrum of how to handle this as well. So I, this is what I believe and you can use this if you like. First of all, if you do not activate the system for handling a cheater, which is to call a line judge, I think you forfeit your right to complain. All right, this is something that happens all the time in the juniors. Kids will come off and they'll complain, oh my gosh, the guy cheated, he was the biggest cheater ever, Did you can't believe it. And then you just ask a simple question, why didn't you call a line judge if it was that bad? Well, I don't know. So I think sometimes it's not always true. So you have to make sure that you're brave enough to call a line judge. So there's a process, okay? But you may not know that the rules of tennis actually allow for me to question my opponent. It's right in the code of uh, conduct that players have to play by in unofficiated matches, which is pretty much all the matches. So the, the, what the rule says is I can ask the person if they th are correct with a call, but then I have to leave it alone. So for example, if I hit a ball and Marty, my wife there, calls it out, I say, well, are you sure that's out, Marty? And she says, yes, and I'll always be the ass. Uh, then I have to leave it alone. I can't, oh my gosh, are you, you, they hit the line. I can't get in an argument. The rules say you can ask, but then you have to leave it alone. So let, let's show you some steps. Step number one, this is my system and you can use it or tweak it. When uh, one of my players, or if I thought I got cheated, I would ask, you know, the first time I thought there was a bad call, I'd say, are you sure the ball was out? They say yes, almost 100% of the time, and I have to move on. But now at least I've done something and let them know, hmm, put you on warning, I think you're cheating me. Uh, on the second offense, I ask again, this time I don't, I, I'll say something like this, are you sure that ball was out? It looked pretty good. Maybe I take it one sentence extra. And again, what will they likely say? Yep, I'm sure it was out. All right, I thought it was in. All right, so now I give them two warnings, okay? On the third offense, I like to call a line judge, okay? Now, there's all kinds of ways you can call a line judge. I've seen kids cry and scream and yell and literally walk off the court in a tantrum. That's one way to do it. And I've seen people kind of almost get in a fist fight to do it. Uh, I've seen people do it really loud, to real quiet. But I'm gonna show you the classic way to do it. So on the third attempt, if I think I got cheated, I'm gonna come up and say, hey, are you sure that was in? They're gonna say, yeah. And then I'm gonna say something cool like this. All right, I believe you, but here's the deal. I want to win this match, and I know you want to win this match, and I don't want to mess up any calls for you or vice versa. So I'm going to do us a favor. I'm going to get us both a line judge so that we can make sure that we're not stressed about this. Now what I've done is I've gotten the line judge, and I've, I've de-escalated. Instead of escalating the problem, I've de-escalated, and I've kind of tell them, hey, I'm going to do it for me and for you because I don't want to mess you up, and it's a way that people can do it. Now, a little confession about my lovely daughter. She's well renowned for calling balls in or out that are actually, I'm sorry, in that are actually out. For years I was struggling with her because she was too generous, even to the point where people would hit balls uh, and she'd play out serves and they weren't ready, okay? So um, if you are a person that tends to be that way, you have to be careful. Your job in tennis is not to be 100% accurate. Your job is to call them as you see them. So if, you pull, if you've made a thousand calls this year, it's not likely you're 1,000 and oh, you might miss one or two. But cheating is when you know it was um, in and you call it out. Uh, if you make an error, that's just a mistake. So there's a difference. So Carly, I'm gonna have you go through these mm -hmm. and show people how you can do this without being confrontational. And I want you to actually go through those phases. So go ahead and uh, mom, you're gonna be <laughs> playing the role of cheater. All right? Start point. <laughs> Let's start a real point. Okay, second serve. Okay, that one was out, so I don't think you should question. So go ahead and play another. Are you sure? Yep. Okay. 
No problem. Carla, let's say that you think she hooked you on that one again, okay? Oh. So the first one, you kind of stood up. Are you sure? That was good. If you say a second one, I would walk a little bit closer, almost mm -hmm. to look at the line. That was out. Okay. It's just a little escalation of the question. Instead of being mm -hmm. all passive from 80 feet away, are you sure? Which I like that. It's very kind and friendly. Mm -hmm. The second one is uh, still not confrontational, but it's a little, it's a notch up. Mm -hmm. Right? So let me see number three. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now you're pretty certain this would happen on the third or, or at the fourth. Some people say, well, I should go wait till four before you call a line judge. That's up to you. <laughs> Another point. Um, from here, that looked into me. I could be wrong, but I know that you want to win really bad, and I want to win really bad. So I'm going to go get a slide judge right now. Okay, good. So come on here, let's summarize. Now, it's important for juniors in particular to rehearse this, to role play it. Okay, Carly's been victim of some actual cheating. I've seen it more than once. And too often she hasn't caught a line judge. And then afterwards she might complain about that and I shut her down real quick. So remember, if you're not brave enough to activate the system that's already in place, then you really forfeit your right to, to complain. And also, even though you saw Carly do it here, you're gonna have to role play this. This is not a bad thing to practice on the court because you need practice at it. In the beginning, you might feel ashamed, but way too many of the nice people in tennis are too chicken to kind of confront the cheater and they just kind of you know, get taken to the cleaners all the time. People are cheating them and cheating them and cheating them. So it's part of uh, one of the life lessons you learn in tennis is you got to man up, you got to confront people that are jerks, but you don't have to do it in a way to escalate it. If you do it this way or something similar like this, then you can do it in a de-escalating way and get what you need.